Hello, welcome to day 11 of the Table Topics 30 Day Challenge. Question number one. If you had the chance to go back in time and change one thing, would you do it? Hello fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. So the question of time travel, am I the only one or have other people here also thought about what it would be like to go back in time? And what's the one thing that would change if right, we had the chance to go back and change something? Would it be something in our lives? Or would it be something in the lives of somebody else in history, for instance? Uh, people talk about, well, if I could go back and take out Hitler before he came to power, would I do that? The thing is, when you Think about doing something like that. You have to consider what the consequences are going to be. So in the case of Hitler, if you were to stop him, okay, that's a good thing. Now all these people that would have died as a result are alive. But would one of those people then turn into be someone even worse than Hitler and cause even more damage? Or maybe there's someone that will cause much better things to occur. We just don't know. So if I could go back and change one thing, you know, I don't know. I think I would really just need to think about it before I could really answer that question. Mr. Toastmaster, 1 minute 42 seconds. Question number two. What would you not give up for one million dollars in cash? Well, hello fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. One million dollars. One million. That is a big chunk of change to anybody. I don't care if you're Warren Buffett. I don't care if you're Elon Musk. I don't care if you're Jeff Bezos. Someone takes a million dollars out of your account, you're going to feel it. Now, for me, one million dollars, what would I not give up for one million dollars? For me, that's an easy one. Family. The love of my wife. Relationships with people. Because there's no price that you can put on that. Not in my book. Family, to me, is everything. There are, what, about 7 billion people on this planet. 7 billion. And all we have, really, is family. And how do you put a price tag on that? I can't. Madam Toastmaster, minute 25. Question number three. What's your definition of heaven? Well, hello fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. Heaven. It's a place that after we die we, we want to go to. Or is it something that you think about here on earth? Heaven for me is going snow skiing after a big snowfall. Right? That's someone else's definition. When I heard the question though, my thought was of heaven, the eternal heaven. The heaven where there is no sickness. There's no more hurt. There's no more pain. There's no more lies. And what there is in heaven is love. A love that is deep, a love that is biting, abiding, a love that transcends all understanding. Isn't that what we really go for in life? Right? We, go, we go for being loved. It's to be accepted. And in heaven, that's the ultimate in acceptance. That's the ultimate not only of loving, but of being loved. All the other junk, all the other garbage, all the other stuff that gets in the way, that causes conflict here will not be an issue or a factor there. So my definition of heaven 
the actual heaven I point up above just to give that some kind of reference as opposed to something here on Earth. Mr. Toastmaster, 1 minute 48 seconds. Question number 4. In one year from today, how do you think your life will be different? Well, hello fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. One year. One year. In some time frames, that's very short. For instance, in many engineering projects, they have a five or six year, or eight year window for completing a project. In other instances, like let's say your goal to lose weight, oh, one year to get to my goal, that's forever. For me, one year, what I want to be or how I want to change in one year, how will I be different? Well, I am currently doing a challenge called 75 hard. It's 75 days in duration. Drink one gallon of water, read 10 pages in a nonfiction book that somehow improves you. Work out two times a day, 45 minutes each. One of them must be outdoors. Drink a gallon of water and take a progress picture. And follow some kind of eating plan. No cheat meals. No alcohol. If you mess up on any of those at any point, you start over on day one. So it's 75 days and the goal is to build mental grit. So I believe that as I come through this challenge, as I completed, I'm on day, I think, 30 right now. When I complete this, I fully expect that that foundation of building mental grit is going to propel me and really build some wonderful habits and ways of operating that are going to lead me to much more personal success the next year. Mr. Toastmaster. Okay, over, I overran on that one. Two minutes, five seconds. 